Hey guys, it's Brandon, AKA Be Rich Beauty, AKA your beauty best friend. So beauty besties, I've been using cream blushes lately, especially in a lot of my tutorials. And what I love is that you guys have said, beauty best friend, what you using? Show it to us, talk to us. So that's exactly what we're doing today. I'm swatching and showing you some of my favorite cream blushes and I'm gonna tell you why I love it. So you know what to do, grab your beverage, let go. most importantly what you're sipping on i said i was coming to you today sipping on the tea honey so that's exactly what we're doing today i have my matcha we're sipping on tea and we're going to talk about blush so cheers to you sugar now before we jump into cream blush for all the new beauty besties welcome on into the channel while you're here though don't forget to subscribe and turn on those notifications so you don't miss out on all this good old melanated magic sugar. And for all the beauty besties that's not new to this, but you are what? True to this? Y'all know I love seeing y'all. <clears throat> I'm gonna do it again. Y'all know I love seeing y'all. Welcome on into the room, sugar. Now let's talk, cause I know you're thinking there is a pattern behind you. There's a pattern that you're wearing, lots of patterns. No, don't adjust your television screen, your television own as. I decided to wear a pattern today because I'm in this like oversized shirt era. I'm loving like this bagginess with a pair of baggy jeans. It's giving me very much 90s blossom vibes. And for all the beauty besties that may not know what 90s or blossom will be, cause you know, I got all ages that watch me sugar. Um, uh, Google it, please. But uh, <laughs> let's jump in. So I don't know if you guys have noticed, but lately I've been using some cream blushes um, on my Instagram and some of my videos. And I've got a, gr a lot of comments in the comment section, some DMs in the DMs. And y'all know I love a good DM. Uh, asking for more details to swatch um, for your complexion and things like that. So I'm gonna share with you what I love about a good cream blush. And these are by MAC. I love this palette because this one is called the Deep Blush. This works well for me because it's deeper colors and you know I'm melanated. But what I love about these cream blushes here is that you get four that you can really customize and move around and blend to whatever your heart desires for that day. Slightly matches my shirt, ow. Um, and the formula, it's the casual color formula. What I love about the casual color formula by MAC is it's one of those nicely pigmented, um, creamy formulas that dries down, gives the skin hydration, gives the skin a little bit of a sheen, a little bit of a glow, and it's not sticky, it doesn't move, it doesn't go anywhere, um, but it also can be used on like your cheeks and your lips. So this is a formula that's very versatile that you can literally do on your lips, um, tap, tap, tap on your lips, add a little gloss or just wear it by itself, a little bit of liner and like a lipstick and then take whatever's left and tap, tap, tap on your cheek. And now your cheeks match your lips and your lips match your cheeks and all that great jazz. So I love the versatility. That's the first thing. The second thing about it is it's super, super pigmented, which I kind of touched on, right? So the first color here is called Amaretto and it's giving um, a nice like mid-tone taupey brown. You guys can see it right there, right? So this is Amaretto. So what I love about this, from a light to medium complexion, this is gonna give you a little bit of warmth and color. Um, it's a little warm. You can use it as a contour if you want to, or you can just use it like a blush, but it's gonna give you almost like that sun-kissed blush effect, like you've been hanging out in the sun, not too red because you didn't get burned, but you got a little bit of color. So Amaretto here is the first color for the cream blushes. And what I, again, that's another thing. Like you can use your fingers, you can use your brush. I like using a combination of like fingers to get it on the cheeks and like the brush to blend out. It's up to you. This is the second color. Who is this girl? This is called Raw Red. So this is gonna give you more of that red effect. And because I'm using it really densely on my hand, you can see the amount of color you get here. But if you just share this out, Look how pretty, like on the cheek, tap, 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 that would be just by itself. So obviously this is definitely blendable and you could definitely share this out, but this was the raw red. Wine Me is the next color and it's giving me almost like a dirty rose. You can see that right there. Um, I also think, you know, cream blushes are really great for someone that may also have like dry skin 
because it's emollient and it's hydrating. So it goes onto the skin looking really natural and it doesn't look topical. Cause you know, if you're really dry, you don't want to literally throw on a powder cause sometimes the powder can amplify the dryness. And so when using a cream against dry skin, it's like chef's kiss. It, it melts into your skin. It looks great. Um, I also love using creams for more mature skin as well. So if you have fine lines and wrinkles and you're afraid for things to get settled into fine lines or the wrinkles child, um, cream blushes are fantastic because again, it melts and moves to the skin and doesn't sit on top. This color is called Purple Blur. And I know you guys have seen me use this one. I love this color. And so we're gonna do Purple Blur right there. Oh, it's like the best great color. Look how juicy and pretty that is. And you know what I really love about the creams? Is you can play around again with mixing. You could do a little bit of like the purple blur back here for a like a strong soft wash of grape. You could take a little bit of the um, raw red on the apples or up higher up. Cause y'all know I've been doing this high blush placement lately. Y'all could do a little high up here and bring that back. And you have this beautiful like ombre gradient. <gasps> it's an ombre gradient cheek. Oh my God, who said that? I did. You can do an ombre gradient cheek. You could take you a little bit of amaretto and give you a little light sculpt, sculpt, sculpting or like warm, take you in just a little bit of, <laughs> y'all know I get excited when the hands get like this. I'm like, you could take you a little bit of purple blur, pop on a little bit of raw red. Then you could take yourself a little bit of wine me and tap, tap, tap on the lips. I'm gonna show you, actually, you know what? Let's do a little wine me, a little purple blur and a little raw red. Mm, right through here. For a little bit of lip color, honey. Mm -hmm. How pretty is that? That is so cute. Mm -hmm. So that is the Deep Blush Palette by MAC. And then there's the Bright Blush Palette as well. Y'all can see I've used this before too. Oops, I didn't realize it was so dirty. Um, excuse the mess. But um, let's go ahead and swatch these, starting with Juicy Tangelo which is this tangerine looking color right there. So I would do, so for someone that is maybe like light to medium and want a brighter br blush, this is gonna be great for you because against my complexion, it's not gonna give me enough pop or enough definition um, the way I want it. Um, the second color is pink tulip. Ooh, this is like Barbie pink. You see that? Look how pretty that is. So pink tulip is next. So again, it's just not enough depth for me, but if I wanted something um, to pop, something a little bit more pastel, if you love a good pastel look in your deeper skin, this can work for you too, because this is gonna look a little bit more pastel against your complexion. Next color is gonna be fuchsia tastic. So this, you know, fuchsia pulls a little bit more blue. So this is almost like a blue pink right here versus this one right here. Oh, now Fuchsia Tastic is not that bad. I, I actually could do a little, a little high Fuchsia Tastic on the, the apples of the cheek right there. And then the last one is a form of purple as well. It's giving me, it's called Berry Good. Sounds very like Auntie Tabitha, Berry Good. <laughs> Anyways, so we're gonna do Berry Good right here so you can see it. And it's coming across very lavender. Look at that. So just to recap, from this way to this way, let me read these names out to y'all. Juicy Tangelo, Pink Tulip, Fuchsia Tastic, and Very Good. And this is the Bright Blush Palette by MAC. And if you're light or fair complexion, this is the Light Blush Palette. And so I, I have it, I haven't used it, I haven't touched it yet. Child, this ain't gonna show up on me. But we're gonna swatch so y'all can see it. Um, orange Desert is the first color right here. And it's this orangey looking color. A very, very, it's almost like a cantaloupe color. Um, we're gonna do that right here. And so you can see how that looks right there. Next up is Natural Dune. So this is pulling a little bit more brown, but almost like a um, like a suede color, but like peachy. 
it looks like that. Ooh, that'd be really, that's now, now that's pretty for a lighter skin because I can see it. You know, I'm gonna try to do it right here so you guys can, oh, haha. Uh -huh. Let's look at it right there. You can see it, Nacho Dune right here. So you can see it gives you a little bit of pink, gives you a little bit of peach. This is almost like that peachy type of color. The next one right here is called Suede Throw, like a, you know, a throw that you have uh, across your couch that you wrap up in. Mm -hmm. All right, so Suede Throw is giving me very much like that khaki grayish color. Um, I'm gonna do this in the palm of my hand so you guys can see it. I'm gonna also do it on the back of my hand so you guys can see it. Um, on the back of my hand, it looks gray. And when I say gray, it's giving a la casket ready on the back of my hand. Um, but on the palm of my hand, you can see that it is cool, but it gives you that like soft brown effect. So again, if you're a lighter beauty bestie, you wanna do a little bit of sculpting little contour, this is actually a really good color because it has that nice cooler undertone for you as well. Now the last color in this palette is called Pinky Tool. And so this is a, like a light, light rose pink. I'm gonna do that right there. Pardon the stained pinky finger from all the other colors. And you can see that it's super light, super soft, and it's literally like the inside of like a, a rose petal pink. Um, I'm gonna also do it on the inside of my hand so you can see it. So you can see that it has this pinkiness to it. It also has a little bit of like blue in it. Um, and it's a nice soft pink for someone that might be, might be light to medium skin tone or like fair to light actually. So there you go. Let's recap the colors. We have Orange Desert, Natural Dune, Suede Throw, and Pinky Tool. Um, <laughs> where do I have on my hands? <laughs> Natural Dune. Okay, let's. Natural Dune, Sway Throw, Pinky Tool, and Orange Desert is right here. And all those four colors are there too. Orange Desert, Natural Dune, Sway Throw, and Pinky Tool. I know y'all probably was thinking, oh, so you're not gonna try nothing on? I am, I am. I'm gonna take a little bit of Purple Blur and right through here where I have my contour, I'm just gonna place a little bit of that color and I'm gonna buff and blend. Take a little bit of raw red and amaretto, mm -hmm, just like that. And I'm gonna tap excess off on the back of my hand. And I'm just gonna take a little bit of color right through here as well. Now I'm going for a flush, but you guys saw from the swatches, look how pretty that is. You guys saw from the swatches how intense this color is. Again, you can take whatever's left and even do a little on the eye and the lips. So this is super versatile. I know I said, it's definitely made for cheeks and lips. Maybe don't do the eye. I don't know. Just in case y'all may have a red allergy on the eye. Ooh, abort, abort. Don't do, don't do anything on the eye, especially if it's red, because you may have an allergy to it. Don't mind me. Just do focus on the cheeks and the lips, okay? Now, sorry. Yes, love, 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 love. Okay. So I hope you guys enjoyed. You know, leave me a comment. I swatch all three blush palettes: the light, the bright, and the deep. Now, I did go down to the MAC Cosmetics website and only saw that they only had the um, the deep one available. So if you wanna run out and buy one, you may only see the deep, but the great thing about it is use a little. The, the deep can work from light to dark complexions as well. That's the great thing about it being cream. Use your fingers to get it on if you want to. Use a fluffy brush to buff it in. You have so many ways to, to utilize this and make it work for you. So I hope this helps. Leave me a comment and let me know what you guys think about these blushes. And if you own it, let me know how you like to wear it as well because I love all the options. I love, I'm going, I'm going to brunch at some point today and I'm keeping this cheek on because it's really, really pretty. So, and on that note, guys, I got to go. You know what to do. Subscribe to the channel, like this video, and leave me a comment. Most importantly, make sure you turn on those notifications, honey, so you don't miss out on all this good old melanated magic sugar. Who loves you? <laughs> I do. See you next time. Bye.